in the name of the Lord. We greet all with the peace of the Lord Jesus. We are going to read the, the Bible in Genesis chapter 5. And I invite those that can uh, stand up, please. In reverence to the word of the Lord, we're going to read Genesis 5. Genesis 5. Genesis 5. Genesis 5, verse 24. Thank you. And the word says, Amen. Amen. And the word says, And Enoch walked with God, and he was not, for God took him. Dear Lord, we ask you to give us the revelation of a word. Apply it in our lives. We pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. Please be seated. The text that we read, it's in a time where the man, the man lived 200, 300, 500, almost a thousand years. They used, they lived long. And the interesting thing is that those men at those time, they lived all that time. The Bible does not say it's it's a seeking that they had to live that long and bring it in parallel to the day's date. We see something common, which is we it was we want we want to live as much as possible, even physically we want to live as much as possible. So when we take care of our health, in favor of live longer. 100, 120, some will probably reach 130, who knows. But, but like those men in the past, like they used to live a thousand years, and that the word says that the men that, all, that lived longer lived 900 Methuselah, he lived almost a thousand years. Nine hundred sixty-nine. Amen. The the teachers are well. The, the teachers are doing a good job because the kids know. And when that text was read about who was going to be here, the first word they let God live. It was very well done that the message was going to be given by the Spirit today. We seek to live more and more like those men in the past. And we reach sometimes, you know, who knows, 130, without living with the Spirit, without the Spirit, without the Holy Spirit in our lives, we could, we could, reach that age but but with Enoch it was different Enoch lived 365 years registered in the Bible read by the man but the words doesn't say that Enoch died the other ones it, they said that they died but Enoch it doesn't say it, it that he died but when we, we seek to live in the Spirit, we, we might reach 130 in the flesh and the man, but in the Spirit, we go way beyond. Bless be the name. Because Enoch lived 365, but as he walked with God, they didn't see him anymore. Didn't see anymore. And what is, what is this didn't see him anymore? 
the Bible says, God took him for him. And where is God today? In the eternity. And if God took Enoch for him, Enoch is where? In the eternity. Blessed be the name of God. But what it is, not didn't see more in the eyes of man. The man, when they accept Jesus, when he becomes a servant of the Lord, when he becomes a son, friend of Lord, the world doesn't see him anymore. The world doesn't know much about his life anymore. The world doesn't have any ways to recognize him as a man because when he passes on the street, the world out there with the physical eye, they say, oh, that one is a servant of the Lord. That man right there, that man that you used to be, that woman that, that, woman that you used to be, that you not, you no longer is anymore. That, the world doesn't see you anymore. And the world doesn't see the, the law of the, the Lord. Because the servant of the Lord lives in his spirit. It's the face of the Lord in our face. Blessed be the name of like Moses was in the Mount of Oregon, when he came down from the mountain, his face was shining. This way is the servant of the Lord. The man out there does not look at us. They cannot look at us with the flesh of with the flashes. Because the servant walks different, because they dress different. I'm not saying what type of dress, and not that aspect. I'm talking about in the posture, and the posture of a servant. That one is a servant of the Lord. People can see that. And the world out there will not see the old man. You know why? Because God will take it for him. Each one of us, blessed be the name of the Lord. You are a servant of the Lord. The Lord will take you for his life because you belong to God. You don't belong to this world anymore. You don't belong to the, man, to the man. You belong to God. You walk with God in life. You belong to the Lord. And interesting that Enoch, in his life, he had all the trials, everything just like we have today, and all his goals in life as well. Because the Word of God says that at his 65, he had his first kid with 65, and he walked with God. So he had his goals. And after he had it first, he had kids, more kids. They didn't talk about the names. They didn't count. They didn't count anymore, but the first they did. So he had his goals. Just like us, we do have our goals, our daily goals, our life goals. A goal to have a house, a family, car, our goals is and the Lord showed tonight that there's a man there's a man here that frustrated himself that he planned something for his life but he hasn't reached it yet. And the Lord says in the revelation, when you walk with God, when you when you give your life to God, your goals will will be fulfilled, will be reached. But you know what's more interesting in the word and the revelation that the God gave is that the Lord, he has the eternity to give you because that's, that's his objective. That's the objective of the Lord. Our objectives are the material things. Amen. That's no problem with that. But the objective of God for your life is that you walk with him and that he can take your life to the eternity. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Enoch was able to fulfill his objectives, his goals, kids. And he walked with God to reach life. And you're going to reach your objectives, your goals, walking with God. And the... And the and the eternal life, blessed be the name of the Lord. And the God took him for him. And what was, and what's the condition that the Lord requires for each one of us to take us with him, to walk with him? 
There's a kid's song that says, Walk in Spirit. It's walk in sanctification. Where the word says it's impossible to see God without sanctification. It's impossible. Walk in obedience. And the biggest joy of the Lord is in His life is for us to obey Him. And when we walk with God, we we'll experiment all this. Walking spirit is to have gifts, spiritual gifts. Walk in truth. Walk in the way of Jesus. There are trials, yes, there will be trials in our lives, suffering, but the victory waits for each one of us. Walk with God is to be sure that this world will go away. The heavens and earth will pass, but the word of God will not pass. The Lord will fulfill all, your, all his word in our lives. Blessed be the name of the Lord. And today is your opportunity to walk with God. To live, to let your life be guided by God. Obey the Lord. Walk in sanctification with the Lord. Even, even, even there is still time. Walk with the God. To have the objectives only for this life. The words of Lord says, I'll give you an advice. And, 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 and I present to you the death and life, the blessing and the curse. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. Thank you.
Blessed be the name of the Lord. Glory, Jesus. Hallelujah. Brethren, that's the word of life, the Lord of, for our lives. There's not, there's not another greater benefit than walk with God. Fortunate those that walk with the Lord because they walk eternally. So I, I, I invite you to stand up. And one of the children glorified. One of the children will glorify the name of the Lord. And walk with God, the Lord. From our birth, a very few of us What word of glorification. We we'll glorify your Lord, we'll glorify your Lord, because we we'll, because we will we'll hear the trumpet. We're gonna go to heaven. Place with you, Lord. Walk in the street of gold. We'll sing in the chorus with you, Lord. We'll see your face, Lord. With the Lord. In the name of Jesus, Amen. Amen. Receive the Lord in this altar, this service, in the name of Jesus, Amen. Please be seated. Our service has, uh, has ended. If you, are, if you wish to have a, a prayer, one of us, one of our workers will help you with that. To all, the peace of the Lord Jesus. Amen.